This green paint is used to make cyclists more visible, reduce the amount of crashes, and protect them. The Portland Bureau of Transportation says it is improving safety, but cycling advocates believe there should be more physical barriers like this. Sharing the road is the motto in the Rose City, where cycling is a popular way to get around. But what if you're one of the hundreds of people moving to Portland each week? If you're new to the area, uh, you might not have seen these before. What do you do when you come across these and these and these? Uh, I think they're great for people that commute. To have everyone be guessing, I mean, that's not going to add up statistically to be something very positive. Just more general information to the public would be helpful. Portland Bureau of Transportation configures different bike lanes on roads depending on traffic and speed. The paint made a big difference in terms of reducing conflict between people biking and people driving, reducing crashes. Since they're more visible, they're less likely to be hit, even though they are kind of in the mix. I've always been a little uh, confused when I'm driving about when I'm supposed to cross the lane versus when I'm not. Oregon law spells out you can go through a bike lane when turning, changing lanes, and to get to a parking spot or driveway. Both the bicyclist and the driver have to somehow communicate who's going to cut across that space. And it can be a little edgy. Right of way laws require drivers. So you just look out for bicyclists. To always yield to cyclists in bike lanes. But PBOT wants you to cross when you see dashes like this, indicating there's a mix of traffic. And what about the green bike boxes? A lot of the bike boxes uh, were installed at areas where we had a history of crashes that demonstrated the need for a safety improvement. They're designed to prevent crashes, especially between drivers turning right and cyclists going straight. And it's nice to be able to be in front of cars there so that as a bicyclist, you know you're being seen. Drivers have to stop behind the line at a red light and they can't turn right on red. These striped green lanes are called cross bike lanes and they're used to indicate an extension of the bike path through an intersection. Unless drivers have a stop sign or a light, they aren't required to stop. So it's on the cyclists to watch for drivers. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Morgan Romero, KGW News.